y'all. HL Captain for All Things Creative. Coming back at you with a super list of the semi spooky anime that you can watch this spooky season without being terrified. So, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're returning, welcome back. Let's get into this top 10 list of mine. Now, just before I start, I will preface this by saying I really, really don't like horror films. I don't watch like vampire and zombie movies and none of that stuff anymore. But there's some anime that are just so well done that I can handle. They're supernatural and semi spooky content and really enjoy it. So I hope this list helps you if you want to get into anime especially if you want to you know get into the ones that have a little bit of ghosts a little bit of you know excitement so 10 i would have to say jojo's bizarre adventure um the main the spooky villain it would be dio he is a vampire he has these like that have like spread all over the world and got a lot of people and supernatural beings doing harm to people and uh the different seasons you know they're different battles so you'll see the fight of good versus evil you know in a very fun and exciting way and the music is especially interesting because they're like Savage Garden songs and also um I think there's a Jodeci song that comes in one of the seasons. So it's very enjoyable in that sense. So let's do the next slide number nine, Blue Exorcist. Now this is a show that you can find on Netflix. Basically it deals with somebody who's born and he's the son of the devil. He has all these powers. So he can fight demons, you know, that possess people and things. Like, there's literally one episode where he kind of fights, like, the kitchen of his school. <laughs> so it's very interesting, especially if you like dramas that, you know, involve friendship and family because he has a brother you know that also goes to school with him so blue exorcist is kind of enjoyable and the next one on the list number eight mob psycho now there's a ghost in this temple he kind of reminds me of slimer if people know about ghostbusters and like the original ghostbusters but really mob psycho is very very enjoyable um it involves a guy who's like an esp -er, and he actually works for someone who's kind of a fraud <laughs> so it's funny that like his boss is not as like truly powerful as he is and you know he just meets different like ghosts and other esp -er kind of kids along the way and it's very enjoyable especially then um, he starts off really calm, it's like a really chill boy, but he goes from zero to 100, hence the name. So once he hits 100, it's like beast mode, it's on. It's very, very enjoyable. Number seven, Black Clover. This is another show that deals with doubles. Basically, um, you have two brothers, again, so it has like a whole family vibe, but they're both... Um, left i guess at the doorstep of kind of an orphanage and one of them is like really good at magic they say he gets like this lucky omen when he gets like a four-leaf clover on his grimoire his like spell book whatever and um the other brother asta he doesn't have any magical powers at all he's just like very into hard work and never giving up. And then when he gets his grimoire, his spell book, he has five clovers. And while four clovers represent good luck, five clovers represent a devil. So Asta, who's like the main character, you'll see he 
literally kind of has a deal with the devil. <laughs> but, you know, it's really well done. And some people down it and say it's a little too much like Naruto. I understand where they're coming from, but to me, it's different enough to be enjoyable. And again, it's not scary to me, but it's definitely more about, again, like never giving up and hard work and things like that. Number six, Death Note. This show is super well done. It's like a cat and mouse kind of vibe because basically you have this um, Shinigami as this supernatural being basically that bored with his life and uh, he drops this uh, notebook that allows whoever finds it to just basically write someone's name in it and then they get caught and um, the person who finds it you know goes on basically like a slow rampage and it's up to you know the, the good guys to find him but he's so smart so so good again not scary at all even though it does have the supernatural aspect but it's definitely more exciting to watch them you know try to catch the guy like yagami so again i think um it's gotten more and more popular i think netflix did a live action version but the live action was not that great i think the best part of it was lakeith denfield but definitely anime very enjoyable all right number five Getting to the top five, Leech. This is another show involving Shinigami. You have the main character, Ichigo. He basically becomes a substitute Shinigami when um, a full-time Shinigami, Rukia, um, comes to Earth and kind of gives him her powers after some circumstances. And basically in the show, they call ghosts or the supernatural beings hollows and they, they basically have to try to like catch and cleanse the hollows it starts off a little slow the substitute shinigami arc is okay but it really gets into a stride when you get to the soul society arc and beyond and it's super good super exciting it's a little jarring because sometimes they kind of change the plot on you like when they're arrested or he may i kind of like did not like how you know the plot shifted and apparently ships back so have no fear but uh just be warned it's not always the most chronological show but it's still very enjoyable number four inuyasha so this so it actually has a sequel called inuyasha hime um and that's on Crunchyroll, but Yasha is the original, the originator. It's really great. It's about um, this half human who meets someone who's basically like the reincarnation of a priestess that he loves. And they have this great adventure, you know, finding all the pieces of this great, um, it's like this piece of jewelry that like broke apart. And all the demons, you know, love all the pieces. They have to, like, basically collect the pieces from demons. And the big bad guy is Naraku, who's probably one of the most craftiest, most annoying villains of all time. <laughs> so because of how annoying Naraku is, that's why Inuyasha is low on the list. Relatively low, so high. But it could have been higher if I wasn't so personally annoyed by Naraku. So... Very good show. Not that scary, even though it has demons and all that stuff. Number three, Yu Yu Hakusho, Poltergeist Report. So basically, you have this guy who's in high school. He's very rough and tough. And he actually dies. <laughs> then he comes back to life. And he ends up fighting, you know, other ghosts and stuff like that. And his friends join him, all these adventures. And it's got it all. It's got friendship. It's got fighting. It's got a little love. It's really one of my brother's favorite animes, so he got me into it. So, um, one of the things that stuck out to me also is the music. 
they have these really good opening and ending songs that get you pumped. And I even bought one of the albums because it's so good. So like Hohomi no Bakugan and like um Bokutachi no Kisetsu, like all these really, really fun songs that get me hyped still. So yeah. Between the show and the music, it's very high quality. And again, even though I have ghosts and stuff like that, it's not scary. It's more fun. Number two, this is where you get a little scarier, but still enjoyable. Jujutsu Kaisen. Right now, they're in the Shibuya arc, which is just bananas. But uh, most people love the show because of Gojo. So I thought it was a little too uh, well made for seeming to remember the main character a lot. Gojo's got main character energy, but really, the other character that shines is Sukuna, who's like this demon that's like. Well, I guess he used to be a very powerful, like, uh, fighter. He ended up basically to, like, god level, because he used to fight against all the other um, demon slaves, kind of. And uh, he has a vessel that is, like, a teenage boy who basically... It's not that powerful, but he's strong and he never gives up. His name is, his name is Yuji Itadori, that's his name. And um, again, Gojo's got more main character energy than him, but you can tell he's going to be something great. And again, they got a lot of like ghosts and kind of demons like, but really the fighting and the dynamics between you know the the people and the struggle between good and evil is very entertaining and very well done so i recommend it it's not that scary but it is more spooky than like other shows on this list and number one the most enjoyable semi-spooky anime has got to be demon slayer um, the bad guy Muzong. It's I feel like I'm not saying that right. He kind of reminds me of Michael Jackson, and I've seen other people say the same thing. But he's very, very powerful, and um, he's got underlings that are just like equally as powerful, and just the main character and his sister, Nezuko, they have to fight against all these different demons, and um, he makes a lot of friends along the way, so it's still enjoyable. It's more again about never giving up and um, protecting, you know, like the ones you love. Because um, the sister, Nezuko, she actually becomes a demon, so he has to kind of like protect her. And she also protects him, even though she's a demon, she keeps her like, human emotion. So it's such a beautiful story. There's so many times where like I was bawling in this show. And you know, with the manga, like, it's satisfying to the last drop. Again, it does have some scary things, but it's very beautiful because Tanjiro's heart is so beautiful. And, and the connections between the characters are very, very deep and just well done. So I, I don't think you'd be scared by it. Like I said, I'm a scaredy cat, and I enjoy Demon Slayer very very much in all the shows on this list so that's my list of the top 10 semi spooky and where you can watch for spooky season if you have any other recommendations please put it in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe and enjoy your fall and beyond and remember you are the master of your fate and the captain of your soul bye